I wasn't planning on recording another video until after I got the LiDAR sensor and started working on that. But there's an item in this workshop that I've been meaning to look at for a while. I've got an evening free, so I thought I'd get it down and see if it still works. So this is a case I genuinely haven't opened in years. It was something I put together when I was working or building my first quadcopter and it was meant to be a command center type thing. Um, so I'm curious to see if any of the technology still works. This was intended as a, as I kind of alluded to earlier, a kind of a command station, although it's a pretty awful term to use that. It was supposed to be a accommodate a laptop down here, so a laptop running the mission planner software and radio transceiver from the quadcopter coming down, plugged in via USB. And this everything here would be the video feed, so live video feed from the copter. So I'd use a, a basic kind of video transmitter receiver, the receiver's mounted up here. The video feed would then feed into an adapter over here which converts it to a VGA signal, and then that feeds it into the monitor. It's all pretty straightforward, but the problem was, if I turned it on, you see the quality is horrific. I've got the camera just running over there, and again, that's something I pulled out of the drawer to get this up and running. And that was, um, it was just always really, really bad. It was supposed to be a very good quality transmitter receiver, good quality antennas, but it was just terrible. And so it never really got used. Although, to be honest, the quadcopter never really went anywhere anyway, so never was needed. The camera module I'm using in here is called Hack HD. This came out around the time of the GoPros initially, I believe, and it was a lower cost alternative. So this was about 100, 150 pounds versus 200 plus for a, a GoPro. And the quality was billed as being the same at the time. And so this was the camera I kind of chose to go with. It didn't come without a case, it was just screw connectors on the side, which for this purpose worked quite well. And so all it is is mounted in a plastic case with the radio transmitter strapped to the back. Like so, it was quite straightforward, but using the mountings on the side here, it's um, kind of clipped to the front of the quad it's working on. They, it does have an SD card in there as well, so it does record video footage at proper kind of HD resolution, as well as streaming it uh, live to the base station. So that's it for this video. It was just a quick look at uh, an old, slightly cool thing I built a while back, and it was great to see that it's still working. Video quality was uh, just as bad as it ever was, but uh, who knows, it may serve some purpose for the Rover going forward, or it may sit back on the shelf for another few years.